Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Papa Boris here playing some more Meteor Fall Krumit's Tale, or as I like to call it, Radioactive Dumpster Fire on Parade, because it's Rose time. I've never actually beaten the game with Rose. My evolving opinion on this character, evolving of course meaning I don't have a clue what the hell I'm talking about, is to basically just ignore her starting perk of Chosen, because the blessings suck. When I first read this character, I thought, well, the blessings must be really good because the curses are just debilitating. You know, there's like, get poisoned every time a tile appears, everything costs an extra gold, can't use abilities. The curses have a major impact on the game, so I thought the blessings would be similar, but the blessings are like, eh, eh, get a gold, eh, heal a little bit. Eh. So I'm not going to work hard to try to make blessings out of curses. I'm going to try to switch over into queen as much as possible and then just use her healing ability. And uh, call it a day. And if you're like, wait a minute, Boris, I did not watch your early access Rose gameplays. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about. The Queen business. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and hop into the run so Papa Boris can teach you. Okay, we're up against the peasants and also the guards. In a way, this is one of the trickier early levels because these guards are the only level one enemy that actually do four damage to you when you fight them bare naked. Okay, so Rose's chosen thing, I'm currently thinking just sort of sucks. This, however, is a card that starts in her deck that changes her into Queen, which is like their, her, her other form. I'm actually gonna fight somebody first. Let's go ahead and fight the guard, get it out of the way. Take four damage and then heal for three and switch into Queen. So Rose is the only character in the game whose starting stamp can change. And that's what makes us such a difficult character to play is you have to shuffle in between two modes. Okay, so now when we change into the queen, the power is that your first attack applies three corruption. The way corruption works is very simple. At the end of the at the end of the battle, if you kill the enemy, you heal health equal to the number of corruption stacks, which is very useful on level one because on level one the enemies do three damage to, and then you heal it all back. So that's pretty strong. Oh, but one little problem, which is that whenever you kill a corrupted enemy, a curse appears in its spot on the board. Now the curses can be really debilitating. You can pay two health to remove a curse, or you can, of course, um, switch over into her starting mode. And if you overheal, meaning if you heal for a number of hit points greater than the number of hit points you are missing, then up to three curses on the board will be turned back into blessings. It's like here we're getting poisoned every time a tile appears. Here. Um, all things are just one gold more expensive. Now this one applies to adjacent enemies. It makes it so that when you fight an adjacent enemy, your base attack is decreased by one. So this would actually be a one base attack fight there, which, you know, is bad. It means I would need to hit it six times and she'd hit me five times. And also the curse is removed after you kill that enemy. So in this particular case, it actually makes sense to remove the curse even though, oh, I can't remove it, paying two health. Oh, you cannot remove it to pay, okie dokie, didn't know that one. So you can remove these by paying two health. I see the radio, okay. But you can't remove that one. You have to actually fight the enemy. Okay, fine. So I guess we'll buy a weapon. And I suppose um, I should also get this health potion so I can drink it to get rid of my poison. Now we're gonna fight this thing. I'm gonna use one tick of it. Actually, no, I should get hurt first. And then after getting hurt, I should life steal to heal back. Although I don't think it actually matters because these peasants are so weak. Now curses do give you five gems at the end if they're still on the board, as do blessings. They count as tiles. So that actually is really good because it means that Rose, out of all the characters, can get the biggest bonus at the end of level one. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just try to emphasize being the queen. So we're looking for weapons, we're looking for good armors, we're looking for you know useful ability, abilities to just help us kill stuff while in queen mode. Now let's take a look at our tile. So we have two neutral things, which I don't like either one of. What the hell is this? I'm going to transform an ability in the deck into a curse. Um, you know, I'm going to do it. That's only one gold for four attack. It's a lot. And yeah, we turn stuff into curses, but it's only an ability. So if I just ignore abilities, then uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, beat the system. First time you take fatal damage, set your health to one and gain regeneration. Once regeneration, you restore two health whenever tiles added. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Well, I don't like Valiant. We talked about that. Balanced, I think nothing in her starting deck really works for that. Oops. Where's my deck? Yeah, these cause zero. These cause zero. So... Yeah, balance is not a good thing to take. 
Vampire is kind of interesting. It would increase my sort of all in on killing stuff to heal. But I'm going to try this. This seems fun. And then you can kind of, you know, play it strategically and purposefully die. So we'll give it a shot. Okay, so we've got you. After your attack, take two piercing damage and mutate into Chosen. It's a way to get back into Chosen, I guess. When you're full health, increase the attack of this by four. Wow, but you have to be Chosen to use it. Wow, that's a really large weapon. So it might be worth it going into Chosen just so I can use this thing. I mean, that's eight attack. Uh, when you block with this, you have thorns equal to your total block. Thorns means the enemy takes damage equal to your thorns value, which I guess would be three. It's actually a really good item because it's 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 the same cost as chainmail, but you get extra. Hmm. And then this is very good, but you have to be queen. Well, I'm going to get this because this is an amazing armor. This is like a Bruno level quality armor. Three gold, three uses, six armor. Of course, there's the drawback of you have to be the queen, but I want to be the queen anyway, so we're going to buy that. I am going to take this. That's also very good armor. And I'm actually, now I need to sell something. Um, I think these are just garbage. So we're going to go ahead and trash it. Really using up all of our gems here. And then we're going to get the Celestial Maul. That is just a very powerful thing to have if I do happen to become the queen. And I can use my stamp of the Salamander. Whoops, wait a minute. i got to get rid of something. Uh, these are actually fine. They, they heal you for four for free. And they also heal you for two when they appear on the board. So if you don't get them in your starting lineup, they're actually quite good. These are a little bit crappy. But... It is a way to get corruption on while you are Rose. So I'll keep him around for now. I just hate that holy hammer so much. It's so bad. So we're going to get rid of that. Okay. So the idea is I might use my salamander stamp to die on purpose, then regenerate up to full. And then when I'm at full, I can buy the celestial hammer and just whack the crap out of shit. Okay. So here we have a, t this is one of the toughest second levels in my opinion, because both of these enemies are kind of like tier two and a half enemies. Neither one is easy to kill bare naked. You take a bunch of damage from each one. The Globbers in particular, you can actually kill it taking no damage if you just have a chain mail, because if you parry this attack, then you kill it in three hits and then you skip this armor that makes it annoying because the armor means you have to hit it an extra time. At the moment, I don't have my armor. Oh, I do have my armor. It's this. Um, so I could just buy it, I guess. I'm just going to buy it. So normally I wouldn't do this type of thing um, in the early stages. However, right now, I'm Rose, which means that once I switch over... Oh, right. I should probably fight one of these tricksters. I'm just gonna, I want to just take some damage so I can um, switch into Queen and actually gain value from my heal. Yeah, this is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 7... And then the Thorns value didn't really help much at all there. But we're going to go to 7. We're going to switch over to Queen. And now once we're a Queen, yeah, we'll just use this. This is fine. I don't care about my abilities. What the hell is this? Oh, oh. So your, um, your thingies that turn you into Queen switch when you become Queen. So you can turn back into Rose. So that, that card kind of switches what it does. Any hoodle, let's go ahead and just uh, fight this guy. And I will go ahead and just use my weapon. So I'm going to take just two damage here, but I heal it up from the corruption, and that gets rid of my poison. So something turned into a curse, whatever, who cares? And we're going to do the same thing to the... Oop, dip, 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 bah, boo, boo, boo. Do the same thing to this one. Blorp. Okay, and then now I do need some way of killing these globbers. I mean, fine, we're just going to do it like this. I am simply going to go... Balls to the walls, Dickens. We're going to fight this Globber bare naked. Which is going to take four hits instead of the usual three. And I take a bunch of damage because of the poison and just getting... Like, look how that took like seven damage. But then because I used my poop stick, um, I ended up healing a lot. Now, what is this? When you restore health, reduce it by one. Okay, so now I heal for one less than usual, which means basically I only heal for one after killing the Globber. You can't use weapons against globbers. Oh god, my baby's crying. Uh, I'm going to take a pause here while I think about this and also see what the hell's going on with my baby. Okay, so the baby pooped his pants while napping. But luckily, he seems to be back down. I noticed I got this thing here. This would actually be really good to have. So maybe I could just pick something up. Oh wait, if I pick it up, then I can't pick it up because I'm out of space. Okay, so I might as well just use up an item then. Remember, by the way, that Globbers are immune to weapons. That's one of the things that makes them challenging. Okay, so now 
I'm only healing one whenever I kill something because I get, I get three from it being cursed, but they got two of these that reduce the healing by one. Um, I do need to get this thing. Right. Uh, do I pick up another one of these? No, let's just pick up a health potion. We'll pick up this. And we will just... Oh, God, I have I forgot how much poison I had. Oh, Jesus. Um, I think I'm going to drink this health potion. <gasps> Did another one of those things appear on the board? Okay, I'm actually going to die of poison just by attacking this globber twice. I need to flee. Oh, right. No, there's two of them. Right. There's two of them. And the health potion only gives back to you. Okay, so I have to pay two health. And then I need to drink the potion. That was a bit of a mistake. And then I need to fight this globber. Unfortunately, the parry went away. That's fine, though. It's going to hit me for one, and then I'm going to kill it. Okay, a little bit hairy there, but that's... That's living the rose life, folks. Just getting murdered. Anyway, we, we got more than 10 gems left over at 11. That's fine. Okie dokie. So, what do we got going on here? I, I see a weapon. Do I like it? Summon a Coco Cat. Destroy all visible curses and increase Coco Cat's health by three for each. Well, that's kind of interesting. Wait, that, that's the health phone. Oh, so it's one use. What's a Coco Cat? A three attack, three health minion. Oh, interesting. It's like a like a Muldorf kind of a deal. Um, okay, interesting. This is whatever. And then we got this. Your uh, life steal when attacking enemies. Oh, interesting. So if the enemies are at full health, it has life steal. Um, hmm. So you can overheal with this. I'm gonna try this Hellcat. Might be terrible, we'll see. Okay, don't want that. This is actually just fine. I'm tempted by the Warmonger, but there's more things that do damage than there are things that increase max health. Intelligent, also fine, but we're gonna take the maximum health bonus here. Okay, I wonder, does she have anything to like make her minions better? The attack is increased by two for each visible curse. Amusing, I do plan to have lots of curse on the board. Destroy curse, strat the tile costs two or less. It's a way to get rid of curses, I guess. I already have one of those. Overheal increases weapons attack by one. I see, so you can buff up the damage. We got the gold gain, and then what's this? Oh, it's just a way to restore five health a bunch of times. Let me see here. Yeah, I hate these. I mean, they're okay, but I don't like them that much. So I should probably, I should probably get rid of the potion before I get rid of these, because these don't do anything. These are actually also really stupid. There's a bunch of crappy cards in here, so yeah, I don't mind going on a little bit of a shopping spree. Let's try this out. Well, okay, so there's two curses visible. It's a two gold, four attack weapon. How good is that? It's not that great. This I'm not planning to overheal much. Let's try maybe this. It's a way to get curses off the board that could be helpful without having to be chosen, without having to get away from chosen. We'll get the health restoring staff. I'm going to pitch one of these on Savory Relics. I think eventually I do want to get rid of these flash shields as well. Okay. Actually, wait. The flash shield heals for four. So does a healing potion. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe I should get rid of the healing potion before getting rid of the flash heals. Because the flash shield can heal for six if you're missing health when it appears. Okay, so both of them began on the board. So that's wasted. Cool. All right, we got the toughest one here where these uh, goblins do an extra damage. I have no way of switching forms, which is kind of a problem. So I could take, you know, a cool 4 damage. Fine, I'm at 16 health, so we'll just take the 4 damage, I guess. And we'll take it again. I really don't like this boss. The more I play against this particular boss, the more I realize this is my least favorite first boss. Because not only do the goblins do more damage, but also these guys are so annoying because they give that stupid thing in your inventory that you have to pay 2 health to remove. Okay, let's try dialing up a... Oh, wait, I don't want to do this until... Oh, uh, yeah, I want to get some curses on the board here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just flash heal. I, I'm not going to worry too much about my... um. What's her face? My bonus gems in this fight. We'll just... um. Oh, I didn't actually even use that. that <laughs> okay, so we're going to pick this up. Let's go ahead and just pop them both. And I could do this, but I don't have any curses. I gotta, get, I gotta really get into uh, freaking queen mode. The main issue with this monkey paw right now, though, is I can turn the things that turn me into queen into curses, and then I can't even turn into queens. I don't have any items that turn into queen. Ah, uh, hilarious. I mean, I could just get a raw Hellcat, but the problem is the Coco Cat just dies in one attack unless I buff it up with some curses. Shoot. Ugh, okay, I hate doing this, but I think we're going to use Tranquilizers. 
It's just, just as just as damage blockers. So I was basically like four health blocked. I'll take four damage here, and then I'm gonna block the um, armor again, so I don't have to attack it an extra time. Okay. Well, that felt very stupid. I guess we'll pick up this relic so that, um, hold on, I can't actually even kill this thing yet. Shoot, like I, I cannot kill it, I don't have enough health to, to kill this. We'll pick this up, I guess. Okay, there's the thing that turns me into the queen. Alrighty, so let's just guzzle this potion. Let's sell this tranquilizer. Let's turn into the frickin' queen. All right, let's, oh, I can't buy this. I don't have enough gold to buy because it actually costs gold to buy it. No, gee. Okay, so this would actually be good, but the problem is if I get this, I don't be able, I'm not able to get this. I need gold. Ugh, so annoying. Maybe I should, now, now that I am the queen, all right, now that I am the queen, let's go ahead and turn some abilities in my deck into curses. So now there's a curse here, which is good. And let's do this again. This time I do take four damage. But that's fine, I'll heal up three of it. Blorp. Maybe I shouldn't have even used that other tranquilizer. Let's get rid of that. What is this? When you're, oh, that's the, this is my least favorite one. Why always the curse of tongues every single time? Oh, and then the other worst one. God, okay, well, <clears throat> not gonna complain. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, I can't dial up the Hellcat because this thing makes everything one more expense. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna turn back into the Chosen, so screw that noise. We'll just pop that off the table here, dial up Mr. Coco Cat, or Mrs. Coco Cat, I, I don't actually know. Get rid of those curses, so now we have an eight health, three attack minion, brutiful. Is there any point to this? There's no point to that, really. There's no point to that because I'm gonna heal for three of this damage. Can we just get some stupid curse that doesn't actually matter, like poison? No, of course, of course, of course, the curse, of course, obviously the curse of tongues, yeah. Obviously I have to get that one, always. That one every time. <sighs> okay, so I need three, go you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna get this chest, and we're gonna buy this, and oh, I don't have enough room for a new tile, uh-huh. Okay, so we're gonna do it like this. I'll take four, but I'll heal three. I have room now for my stupid because I used up my last spot in the inventory. Now I'm gonna pop it and then we're gonna destroy this curse because the radioactive does nothing when the deck is empty. Remove target blessing to destroy all non-boss enemies. Oh, that's a sweet ass thing. Well, that makes blessings actually worth it. I don't have any blessings, so okay. Deal six piercing damage to enemy and two piercing damage to yourself, mutate queen, all right, that's fine. And then restore six when you acquire the spawn or random blessing in its spot. I don't think it's gonna make the blessing here. We'll take six damage, this seems fine. In fact, let's just, F it, man. Lorp, you're dead. Okay, so now we gotta fight this boss. Um, oh, let's, let's kill this curse and get another thingy. Turn a curse into a blessing. Overheal, stun your opponent, recharge after. Well, am I gonna over, I can't see what my health is. Uh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't minimize this, I don't know what my health is. I don't think my health is high enough to do that. All right, sure, we'll do four extra damage, fine. Okay, let's see here. What I really want to do is get this. That will just let me block all of his attacks. Um, do I need that? We'll see. Maybe I don't need that. Oh, I, uh, okay. I clearly need that. <laughs> all right. Now, maybe this is actually better because it gives thorns. All right. We'll try this. So, I'm going to get rid of this because there's going to be no more curses. So, it does nothing. So, we'll block that to do five damage to him and parry him. Let's go ahead and what is this? Oh, this doesn't actually do anything for me, really. But it does do an extra damage, so... Okay. We'll hit it for three. We'll let my cat... Take five to the face. Now I'm gonna use my thorns again. That was good, that was good, that was good teamwork. It's good, I, I like that Coco Cat lady. That, 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 this, oh man, this thing is freaky. Jesus Christ, that is some nightmare fuel right there. That is grade A prime nightmare fuel. Okay, what's our tile? So, stupid potion. Deal four piece damage to target enemy and adjacent enemies destroy two health for each enemy hit. Uh, three gold? That seems awful. All right, and then we have increase. Okay, well. I have so many expensive things in my deck. Hmm. Maybe I could just take this? I don't discard that many tiles, but. 
It's just extra healing. I'm not, I'm not, I don't overheal very much at all. So this is just a four attack weapon, which you know is fine, but three gold is like, I'm gonna take this potion. I have gold issues. Okay, so melee weapons hit harder. More damage versus bosses, this is dumb. And then there's the vampire, tempting me always, the vampire. Hmm, so I mean, as queen, I restore basically five health after each fight. Okay, we'll try the vampire strategy. This could be a terrible idea. Okay. What is this? Ah, yes. Corrupt fine enemy, another... No, oh, so it's like a lot of corruption. Let's get another one of those. That is a good thing. I'm gonna get this chest. I just need more money. And then I wanna pitch... Um, God, I, for some reason I hate these flash shields, but I know objectively they're not actually that bad. I'm gonna get rid of this unsavory relic. I know that that thing's bad. That thing just doesn't seem to do very much. Okay, and then should I get another phone? Let's actually try getting another phone. I like that Coco Cat. So I will now finally get rid of, I think the Heal Potion. It, the Heal, well, it has to be worse than the Flash Shield. It's the same thing. Although this is an ability. Yeah, this is an ability, but then again, this is an item. So there's a thing that prevents you from using abilities, but there's also a thing that makes items more expensive. So it's kind of like, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other, which one's worse? Fine, I think the potion is objectively worse. I should just stop listening to my psychology and get rid of the potion. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Time to begin the next third of our run with Rose. Bit of a tough dungeon here. Although maybe it's not, and I'm just only paying attention to how tough the monsters are because I suck with Rose. So we have the Druids, and we've got these guys, and we also have Globbers, so there's no like easy enemies here at all. In fact, this just blows chicken dicks. What am I supposed to do here? I can't fight any of these enemies. Okay. Well, what if I were to fight one of these things raw? It would be three hits to kill it. So I would take eight damage and I would heal two. So it would be six net damage. Fine, we'll do it. It's stupid, but I do have stout, I do heal, and then this lets the shadow thing come on so I can just turn into queen. All right, and I don't think there's any chance I'm not gonna like take that thing. So now, I can't use this because I'm not at full health and also because I'm not chosen. So what do I do? You know what? F it. F it right in the A. I'm gonna I'm gonna heal for five. So as long as I can take the eight upfront damage, I really only take um what's his face? Two net damage. Why always the curse of tongues? Why? Unbelievable. Okay, so we'll get rid of that with a hell phone. Should I do this again? Yeah, I'll do this again. So I'm gonna take eight damage up front and then I'm gonna heal five of it. So I took three net damage. This is the most cultists that I have ever faced tanked in my life. We've got another one of these, unbelievable. All right, well, let's go ahead and hell phone it up then. We're gonna get rid of these curses, have an eight three Coco Cat. And I guess I can kill this Globber now in two hits. Oh my God, my baby's waking up, unbelievable. Jack, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls, Smalls. Be right back. Okay, so I realized while I was away for a day, because my frickin' kid won't nap, that I messed up. I was supposed to stop after the goblins. Oops. Well, we'll guess I'll have to stop here. Uh, okay, so actually, you know how I said I was gonna think about it? Uh, I didn't. I had no idea what the hell I'm doing. All right, so let's go ahead and fight this globber and just see what the hell happens. So, um, yeah. Oh, that, right. That, that, this screws everything up. Um, okay, I'm gonna just let my Coco Cat take the poison. Can my minions ever heal? Oh shoot, they probably can't. I'm not Moldorf, so they can't heal. Okay, um, well, that's that, I guess. All right, so anything is poisoned. I don't think I can ever, I can never heal this thing. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, um, well, <clears throat> only I can be chosen when you attack, transform an ability. Okay, well, I don't care about this anymore. So I'm just gonna get this. We're gonna use it to womp on these druids. I am not going to, I, uh, yeah, I'll take two damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal up most of it anyways. Lorp. And then this, my kitty cat's gonna die. So it doesn't actually work and I can't use weapons. It's actually a little bit trickier. I could just do this right now and blow all these up. I'm gonna do that. 
I shall see. No, 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 no. I should just use this monkey paw. Hold up. I should just use this, this monkey paw. Um, to do this. So, yeah, we'll just use it all up completely. And then kill the druid. Heal up most of the way. Now, we buy this. Dial up our next kitty cat. Boom goes the dynamite! Holy shit, Binkins do! And now we can womp on these globbers in just two hits. Thanks to our mighty three base attack, which makes it way easier. What the? What? It healed? It heals? It heals if it kills the killing blow? Wait a minute. Wait a dag tootin' son of a gun minute here! Okay, so can I actually save this Coco Cat? Is it gonna heal and cure the poison? Oh, what? No, no, it didn't heal the cat. No, no. It's just the, the healing of the corruptness kind of showed up over the cat, but the cat still took it. Well, this cat can hit, and if it lays a killing blow, it actually doesn't die. So I guess I got that going for me, which is nice. All right, let's go ahead and get this mantle. I am the queen, so I can use this, and I can use it to great effect against these bitches. Blorp. Now you're stunned. And you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to get rid of this poison. Let's just get it out of the way. Sadly, I benefit not from the healing. Um, Wait a minute. I want this. What's this? Destroy a curse to draft the town. Like, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, well, I need an extra gold for that. And there's no point taking the chest, because honestly, at this point, I can just kill the last enemy. All right, yeah, so we're just going to do this. I'm not going to count this all the way. But I think I will actually hit. Oh, wait a minute. I can actually... St oh, wow, these cats just get better and better and better. My curse from the first time I attack applying three corruption actually stacks with the cat. And I can do it even more. Now we're up to seven corruption. Holy mogadoli! Okay, if I flee, I actually do more than four damage because it counts, causes the block to cancel. And now we'll use this cat to go. Wait a minute. Oh, this thing still has seven health. <laughs> right. Maybe I should have actually taken the damage because there's so much corruption on this thing that I'm actually going to end up overhealing. Alright. So now there's one more enemy in here. I guess. I don't know if I want to destroy curses, but I mean, if I just take a thing, it's not going to do me any good. Yeah, I might as well just destroy... Oh, wait a minute. Where am I going to put these items that I'm drafting? <laughs> I'm just going to take this gold. Okay, and that's not an enemy. I'll take this. All right, the enemy's kind of buried in there, unfortunately. So I guess we'll just pop this thing to get something to come through. Okay, still not it. All righty. There's the last enemy, and this is going to be really easy. It's kind of sad that I have to pitch something to get there. Because I can just parry it with my big, beefy six armor. Oh my god, I forgot I have ten poison. I, uh, I just totally forgot about that. I, um, it's actually kind of, I'm actually kind of vulnerable, aren't I? So the Curse of Radiation, because I'm a vampire, so I can't heal from discarding tiles, so I actually have to have real healing. Well, luckily, I don't die to the poison that I carelessly put on myself. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we made it all right and even this poison kitty cat survived man i would totally take a third one of those phones those phones are amazing okay so interesting choice here we can take the amanita essence to reduce the cost of abilities do i have abilities in my deck that i use no they're all zero cost screw abilities abilities are for losers. what are you okay. <clears throat> up in his life still one attacking enemies with full health ah yeah Restore eight for a gold. That doesn't seem that good. Um, shoot, this is all garbage. Well, we'll take this. I could use some more healing, maybe. Okay, I'm not gonna ever equip two weapons. Two random abilities could be fine. Three random potions is fine. Okay, we'll take the alchemist because it just adds an extra tile, so it's an extra gold for me. And I think potions are more useful than abilities because they can give me healing, which I do need sometimes. Okay, shopping. Remove a non from the dungeon. Does not kind of slang it. Overheal two times to recharge. It's interesting. So it's good because it gets you. It just gets rid of anything you want to. Hmm. Eight block regeneration. This costs one less if you're overwhelmed. Interesting. So you pick it up and then you use it to get eight block one time. 
Uh, regeneration would be useful. Shuffle three blessings. It does gain you extra gems, but the blessings are typically pretty crappy. I mean, all this stuff is fine. This is a way for me to get back to Chosen if I ever wanted to for some reason. I don't want to. I don't. I don't know if, how often I really want to go back to Chosen though. Is the thing. Okay, we'll take this because sometimes you just need to get rid of something. What I don't like about this though is the fact that you don't get the the kill, because also over. When am I gonna overheal two times? Ugh, I don't know. Oh, we'll take armor. Fine. I'm not a fan of mutating the chosen, but that's fine. And I guess we'll just add some blessings to the deck. Okay, so there's got to be some crap I can get rid of. Right, this potion. This potion's gotten worse, and now I have random potions in the deck, so I don't need the random crap potion. Okay, we'll try it like this. Oh, I should have stopped the video. Okay, no, I, I still can stop the video. Haha, -ha, I will stop the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Take care.